Welcome to the Deep Dive. You're here because you want to get straight to the core of things fast. And today we're digging into something uh, really fundamental in the golf swing, how we use the ground. Yeah, it's something that's always been talked about, right? Weight shift, ground forces. Exactly. But it often feels, well, abstract. Oh, like, yeah. what does it actually mean? What are my feet doing? It's been a bit of a black box. Totally. You're trying to generate power, be efficient. But visualizing those forces in real time, that's been the real hurdle for players, for coaches, for everyone. Right. But we've got some great insights today coming from Henrik Jentsch over at Golf Academy 360 Degrees, powered by Sportsbox AI 3D. He's been working a lot with a piece of tech that's making these invisible forces, well, visible. Sensor edge pressure mats. Ah, yes. Sensor edge. Good stuff. So our mission today is pretty clear. Figure out how these mats work and maybe more importantly, what kind of aha moments they're sparking mm -hmm. for golfers for coaches we want to bring you that clarity too and it's interesting you know pressure mats aren't exactly brand new but what henrik really emphasizes is how much of a leap forward this latest version from sensor edge is especially the wireless part that seems key it really is the fact it just connects straight to an ipad or an iphone that changes everything in terms of practicality how you can actually use it yeah i can imagine the old systems you were kind of tied down, right? Cables everywhere. Exactly. Tethered. Henrik points out this wireless freedom means you can use it anywhere. Indoor bay, outdoor range, even take it onto the tee box. That flexibility for feedback right in the moment. That's huge. Huge. But it's not just where you use it. It's what it shows you. That's the magic. Okay, so what are we seeing? Sensor Edge gives you this uh, real-time visual map of your pressure. Throughout the whole swing, it's not just numbers after the fact. It's a dynamic map. Yeah. You see exactly where your pressure is, how it's moving. So like left foot to right foot. That, yes, but also heel to toe within each foot. It tracks your center of pressure, that main point, as it shifts and moves all the way through. It's like watching the footprint of your swing develop. Okay, I'm starting to picture that. Hmm. And seeing that, what does it tell us? Well, that visualization is where the understanding really clicks. Henrik's seen some really clear patterns looking at, you know, high-level players. Pitch out. A really significant pressure shift onto the trail side in the backswing, that's maybe expected. But then a surprisingly quick, uh, aggressive move back to the lead side. Quick. Like when? Before the club even really starts coming down. Way earlier than most people think. Oh, okay. Before the downswing proper. Yeah. And Henrik directly links that specific move, that sequence, to generating serious power. So it's not just about swinging harder with the arms. Not at all. It's about the timing, the rhythm, how efficiently you're using the ground for leverage, like uh, pushing off starting blocks, that efficient transfer of energy. Yeah, it makes sense. Using the ground as the power source. Precisely. And this is where those aha moments often happen for students. Henrik says, you know, he can explain weight shift concepts all day long. Talk, draw diagrams. Right. But the second a student sees their own pressure trace, their own pattern right next to a pro's trace, something just clicks. Ah, the visual comparison. That must be powerful. It really is. Suddenly, the abstract becomes concrete. They see the difference between what they feel like they're doing and what the pressure trace shows they're actually doing. Bridging that feel mm -hmm. versus real gap, that's always the challenge in golf instruction. Always. And this immediate visual feedback lets the coach pinpoint things so much faster. Henrik uses the example of load and explode. Right. Hear that phrase a lot. You see it in the data. Yeah. A good backswing loads the pressure effectively onto the trail side. Then that efficient transition, shifting pressure to the lead side in a controlled way, followed by that powerful push off from the trail foot through impact, that's using the ground. That's where the speed comes from in top players. It paints a really clear picture. And Sensor Edge is the tool making that picture visible. Exactly. Henrik describes the mat itself as, like, thin but tough, easy to roll up, carry around. Very portable. And the app sounds clean, intuitive. Designed for quick feedback you can actually use, not just a ton of confusing numbers. So what does the app show? Just the moving dot? It shows the visual pressure map, like a heat map sometimes. It gives you the numerical data too, if you want to dive deep. And crucially, you can overlay swings. Overlay. Like comparing my swing to a previous one. Or to a pro. Both. That side-by-side -side comparison is incredibly insightful for the player and the coach. You see the differences immediately. I can see how that would speed things up. Is it just for elite players though? No, not at all. Henrik makes a strong point that it's valuable for everyone. Beginners who might be, you know, 
swaying way too much. Yeah, see that a lot. All the way to elite players just trying to dial in that tiny little transition move. Having objective data guides the coaching, helps the player understand the feel they need to find. It really changes the conversation. And thinking bigger picture, Henrik also talks about combining sensor edge with other tech like Sportsbox AI 3D, which tracks how the body itself is moving. Ah, so you get the body movement and the ground interaction. Exactly. You put those two together, how the body's rotating and tilting and how that relates to the pressure shifts on the ground, and you get a truly complete picture of the swing. That sounds like, well, like Henrik calls it, next-level coaching. It really is. You're seeing the internal engine and how it connects to the road, so to speak, much deeper than just looking at video. Makes sense. And there are practical benefits for coaches too, Henrik mentions. Things like keeping students engaged because they can see their progress. Right. Seeing the trace change over time. Yeah. Leads to better retention, more follow-up, and it helps a coach stand out using cutting-edge visual tools to get results. So wrapping this up for our listener, the main takeaway seems to be Sensor Edge gives you a window into a crucial but usually hidden part of the golf swing, your connection with the ground. Yeah, it provides a visual data-backed way to understand it and ultimately improve it, finding more power, better balance, more consistency by seeing what was invisible before. That potential for the aha moment is really compelling, finally seeing those horses everyone talks about. It can genuinely change how you think about building a powerful swing right from the ground up. Definitely food for thought. So for everyone listening, think about your own game or your coaching. How could actually seeing your pressure trace change things? What might you discover? And maybe a final thought to leave people with. Now that we understand how important seeing these ground forces is, thanks to tech like Sensor Edge, mm -hmm. what other maybe subtle things in the swing are we not seeing? Mm. What other hidden details might be holding back potential? It makes you think about how interconnected everything is in athletic movement, doesn't it? It really does. Definitely encourages a bit more curiosity about the mechanics we can't easily see. 